Hi everyone, welcome back to English to English. So today we are going to see the grammar part which is very important and it is a basic foundation of a language. So here is we are going to see the parts of speech. So parts of speech, how many speech are there uh, which are going to interconnect with the sentence formation which are going to make the justice for the sentence formation. So these things are very important for us. So let us see how many parts of speech are there and what are they. So the first thing is noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. So what is a noun? A noun is a word used as the name of a person, place, thing, animal, feeling and idea so these uh, things are called as noun okay if you are telling a specific person's name it is a noun like ashok happiness it is a feeling india it is a country cat it's a name of an animal and chair so chair is a name of a thing that we are going to take as examples of noun okay so these are called as noun what is a pronoun a pronoun is a word used to replace a noun so the repetition of noun should be here reduced so that is why the pronouns are used pronouns are very very important why because uh, every single time if you are taking the name of a person that is not going to sound very likely so here pronouns are used to avoid repeating the same noun over and over again okay friends so hope you all are understanding what i'm trying to say here is so these things are very important make sure that you are going through these things so examples of pronoun i me mine she he it we as so these are the examples of pronoun so these pronouns are used to avoid the repetition of noun in the sentence okay and the next is what is a verb a verb is a word used to express an action or state so action that is what is going through and to express to tell to specify the things to clarify the things so the verb is used okay verb are also very very important So here is I am writing a book. Here someone is doing something, writing. That thing is going to explain the entire book. Okay. So Rina is going to school. So she is moving to school. These are the things. Okay. Here is adjective. An adjective is a word used to add something to the meaning of a noun. So uh, adding a additional information to the noun is called as adjective that is adding something see here examples of adjective divya is a brave girl here brave is an adjective means it is adding some quality to the noun rahul is a tall boy tall means he is a tall boy his speciality or his superiority where we can see it okay here is adverb an adverb is a word used to add some to the meaning of a verb an adjective or another adverb so here the thing is you can also uh, you know add uh, some of the additional meaning for the verb she finished work quickly so here adverb is used to uh, you know um, say the special thing or express the uh, special thing that you know a noun or a thing it has this butterfly is very quick preposition a preposition is a word used with a noun or a pronoun to show how the people or thing denoted by the noun or pronoun stands in relation to something else so the relation between a noun and pronoun it is called preposition there is a bird in the garden there is a bird in the garden the girl is fond of music so the girl and music it is connected with found found means here the girl really likes the music 
okay so these are the small things which we really want to understand conjunction conjunction is a word used to join words or sentences to form a sentence it has to be interrelated or it has to be you know um, joined so these are the conjunction words that we got to use here examples of conjunction two and two make four so and is a word that is adding two and two i run fast but miss the train here there is something in the first sentence and again there is something else in the second sentence but it is connected interjunction it is a word which expresses some sudden feelings like hurray if you are happy you are going to make that sound so those are interjunction okay friends hopefully you all are understanding what i'm trying to say is examples of interjunction hurray we won the game ho ho so here the feeling of happiness that you are you know sharing it and um, what else we have got here please do subscribe and like the videos also so determines are words like a and the these those each every so these are the words 